Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to calculate the ultimate bearing capacity. Now, the equation on the reference manual seems pretty simple, straightforward. However, if they tweak it or they change a little bit the question, it can become confusing. So I'm going to go over that so that you are ready for your tests. Now, for more videos covering the FE exam questions or engineering problems, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I release new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Also, make sure you watch until the end because I'm going to share with you some practice problems that you can use to study for your test. Oh yeah, everybody now. Okay guys, so let's read the question together. So we have a square foundation that is 2 meters by 2 meters in plan. The soil supporting the foundation has a friction angle of 30 degrees and a cohesion of 25 kilopascal. The unit weight of soil is 16 kilonewtons per cubic meters. The depth of the foundation is 1.5 meters and the bearing capacity factors for the fee are provided to us. We need to calculate the ultimate bearing capacity. So if you guys type in ultimate bearing capacity on the FE reference manual, it will take you to page 154, which is under geotechnical engineering. Now this is the equation we're going to use, but just be careful because here you are giving gamma prime. Now, if we go to the first page of geotechnical engineering, gamma prime, which is the effective unit weight, is equal to gamma saturated minus gamma water. But in our question, we were not giving gamma saturated. We were just giving the unit weight of soil. So all you got to do is just change gamma prime for gamma and everything else in the equation stays the same. Also, keep in mind, guys, that this D here is the depth of your footing and B is the width of your footing. Now let's apply the equation and solve for the ultimate bearing capacity. Now let's plug in the numbers in the equation. So C is equal to 25 kilopascal. Note guys that kilopascal is same thing as kilonewtons per meter squared. For gamma, I use 16 kilonewtons per cubic meters. If we were given the saturated unit weight, make sure you guys find the effective unit weight by subtracting the water. And then for D, it's 1.5 meters, that's the depth of the foundation. And then here, again, I used gamma as well. And then for the width of the foundation is 2 meters, since this is a square foundation, so B is going to be equal to 2. Also, note guys that the units here are going to cancel, so meters with cubic meters, and we're going to be left with uh, meters squared here, nothing really here. And then here, same thing, so here we have meters squared. And so the answer is going to be in kilonewtons per meter squared, and that's what we actually need the answer to be in. Now, if you guys plug in these numbers, you're going to get 744, and so the answer is D. If you guys want some practice problems or some cheat sheets, you can visit my website, intro your email address, and I will send them to you along with some tips on how to tackle this exam. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck with your studying, and I will see you soon. À la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.